close the text because I see at least three things in the text that gives you reasons as to why you ought to be willing to say something. To say something. Let's see. Let me help you tonight. The reason, number one, you ought to be willing to say something is because the text is tailored to teach you on the night. You ought to be willing to say something, first of all, because God has given you permission to speak. Talk, sir. Talk, sir. Talk to me, somebody. That the reason you ought to be willing to say something is because the Bible says that God has already given you permission to speak. Yeah. Look, I'm going to tell you name on tonight. I've got permission. I got permission. How, how, how do you know we have permission? Because watch what the verse 4 of the text says. He uses the word let. That's good, man. Can we walk through the text on tonight? He says, let. And that word let in the English language uh, or the English connotation means to give permission uh, or simply to allow. Yeah, man. You know, Dr. Hayes, I discovered in the school system, uh, before that child can ask a question, that child has to raise their hand. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me, somebody. And they have to have permission to speak. Y'all looking at me strange over the night. Before, before that child can make a comment or even ask a question, they have to raise their hand and get permission to speak. But can I bless somebody here tonight? When you come into the Lord's house, the Lord has already given you permission. Talk, man, talk. Y'all looking at me strange on tonight. When, when you come through those doors, uh, you don't have to get the pastor's permission. Uh, you don't have to get the usher's permission. Talk to me, somebody. Because over 2,000 years ago, what? What? he gave you permission. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, I got permission. Come on, tell somebody what the Lord has done for me. I've got permission uh, to wave my hand. Uh, I've got permission uh, to stand on my feet. Uh, I've got permission uh, to jump real high. Uh, I've got permission uh, to run around this sanctuary. Talk to me, somebody. The God I serve has given you permission. Preach on, man. Preach on. You in here, man. You in here. <laughs> Y'all looking at me straight. I, I come to tell you on tonight that you have permission yeah. to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why when I come into God's house, I don't need nobody to shush me. <laughs> come on, talk to me, somebody. I don't need nobody to quiet me. I don't need nobody to raise their finger and tell me to get Lord talk to me some man. Because after all the Lord has done for me, I'm going to get some louder and talk to me some man. I'm going to make some noise. Shake somebody's hand and tell them you've got permission. You working, man. Not only. Don't look at your wife, brother. Not only. Preach it all, man. Say something. Because uh, the Bible says. You preach it, man. You have permission to speak. Yeah. But can I give you another reason why you ought to say something on tonight? Not only is it because you've got, you've got permission to speak. But the text is taken to show you on tonight. Point number two, the reason you ought to say something. Preach it all, man. Is because you've been purchased from your sins. Boy, I don't know what else gonna make y'all shout up here tonight. Man. But the reason you ought to say something uh, is because the God I said uh, has purchased you from your sin. It's in the text. It's right there in the text. It's, right it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Watch what the summer said. He said, let the redeemed. Stop right there. You, you know what it means to be redeemed, don't you? To be redeemed means that you have been purchased. Yeah, yeah. It means that you have been bought with a price. It means you've been
been delivered. Uh, the ransom has been paid. Uh, some blood has been shed. Uh, there has been a kinsman uh, redeemed. Talk, sir. Talk, man. My grandmama sneaking up on me tonight. My grandmama used to sing a song that says, I am redeemed. Yeah. Yeah. Bought, bought, bought. Before, bought with a price. Jesus uh, has changed my whole life. Uh, and if anybody asks you uh, just who I am, uh, you ought to tell them uh, that I am. Preach, man. Preach. Can I, can I bless you on the night? You Dr. Dr. Hey, when we leave and they ask you about Tobias, don't tell them what school I went to. Tell your neighbor, it really don't matter. Don't, don't tell them where I was born and raised. Don't tell them where I live. Don't tell them what degrees I have. Don't tell them my likes or dislikes. But if anybody asks you about willing to buy us, all you need to tell them is I am redeemed. Shake somebody's hand and tell them I've been redeemed. Come on, look over and tell somebody I've been redeemed. Work on it, man. Work on it, man. Work on it. And the reason. The reason I'm going to say something. You at home, man. The reason I'm going to say something is because the Lord has already given me uh, permission to speak. But then, I'm going to say something uh, because I know that it was nobody but the Lord. Tell your thing, it was nobody but the Lord. Nobody but the Lord uh, who purchased me from uh, my sin. Yeah. You know what I discovered? Preach it all, man. Dr. Hayes. Preach it all, man. I discovered that it's hard to remain quiet. Yes, sir. When you really love somebody. Yeah. Come on, Doc. Come on, man. You I'm said something. You said something. I, I discovered it's real hard. Tell your neighbor, it's hard. It's hard to remain quiet yeah. when you really love somebody. Yes, sir. Uh, let me testify. Before I leave you, Dr. Hayes, on the night. Act like you in Mississippi, uh, man. Yes, sir. I came to Stanton, Mississippi, Tennessee. Yes, sir. But even though we made it here, my mind is back in Jackson. Yes. What you say, Reverend? What you say? Can, can, can I testify on the night? Testify, man. Uh, you see, Dr. Hayes, my 16 <laughs> year old daughter didn't want to come to Memphis. Yes, sir. And and let me tell you why Dr. Hayes, she didn't want to come to Memphis. Because it's not that she doesn't like coming to church, but she really didn't want to come to Memphis because it's homecoming at a school. Yeah. I see where you're going, bro. Yeah. Dr. Bonnie, you sure right. All of it. Because it's homecoming at a school. Yeah. They, they got a homecoming game yes, sir. tonight. <laughs> and then after the game, uh, they, they have a homecoming dance. I see you, Ray. I see you. I see you. And, and, and a few weeks ago, Pastor Broom, a few weeks ago, my daughter came to me and said, Daddy, I know the church is going to Memphis. But she said, Daddy, Preach on, man. if you don't mind, I really want to go to the game yeah. and then go to the dance. I see you. I said, okay. I said, okay, Taylor, her name's Taylor. I said, mama, I'm not going to interfere with your last couple years in school, high school. So you can go to the dance uh, and you can also go to the game. Yes, sir. I said, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to find some way to work this thing out. But then Dr. Hayes, she threw me with a punch. She, she said, well, Daddy, since y'all going out of town, what, brother, what? and since I'm going to be staying with Granny, she said, Daddy, can my boyfriend, JB, come pick me up so we can go to the dance? Preacher! Preacher! <laughs> I said, Lord, Lord, you got to help me with this. So my wife and I told her, we said, Taylor, you've been doing good. You've been doing well. So 
We're not going to interfere with your last few years of high school. Preach on, man. So, if you want to go to the dance. Yes, sir. And if you want J.D., that's his name, J.D. J.D. To take you JD. to the dance. Yes, sir. She said, my wife and I said, we need to sit down and talk to J.D. Come on. Come on, talk to somebody. So, last night, Pastor Hayes. Yes, sir, man. Can I testify? Last, last night. J.D. came by my house. Boy, y'all looking at me strange in here tonight. Last night, J.D. came by my house. My wife hadn't made it home just yet, so, so it was just me. J.D. It was just me and J.D. I, I prayed real hard, Pastor Broome, because I didn't want to say the wrong thing. And if I could just be honest with you, I really wanted to have my gun on the table when J.D. came over. Boy, y'all are going to be strange in here tonight. But I wish I had somebody in here tonight who's not ashamed to testify that you not ashamed to be quiet and make some noise when it comes to somebody you love. When you really love somebody, you're not ashamed to say something. So, Mr. Hayes, when JD came in, my wife wasn't there. Just me, my daughter, and JD. Tell your neighbor, it was just us three. And when JD came in the house, I just had casual conversation with JD. Yeah, man. My wife came, asked JD a few questions, and I told JD, it's good to meet you. J.D. thought he was off the hook. J.D. got in the car, went home. But when it comes to somebody you love, you gonna say something. So I told J.D., I said, J.D., li listen, it's good to meet you. I hope y'all have fun tonight. But when it comes to my baby, I, I need to tell you, J.D., don't do anything to disrespect her. Don't do anything to hurt her. Because if you hurt my baby, JD, you got to deal with me. Can I tell you what JD said? JD said, Reverend Tobias. He said, Yes, sir, I'm going to take care of your daughter. And I left Jackson, Mississippi with a, with a heavy heart. Because I knew that when it comes to somebody you love, you can't be ashamed to say something. What, what I'm trying to tell you on tonight uh, that if you really love the Lord, uh, you are not ashamed to say something. Come on, talk to me, somebody. When you fell in love uh, with that man named Jesus, uh, you're not ashamed. I wish I had somebody in here on tonight uh, who's not ashamed to testify that you are in love with what? the Lord. I wish I had somebody on this left side, uh, and we gonna get out of here on tonight. Uh, who's not ashamed to no, wave your little won. chocolate hand uh, and tell the whole wide world uh, that I love the Lord? Anybody here not ashamed to wave your hand uh, because you in love with the Lord, uh, and because you in love with the Lord, uh, every chance you get, uh, you gonna open your mouth. Uh, Give God the praise and say, shake your neighbor's hand and tell him, say something. Well, my brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you all tonight. But I'm coming to tell you, Dr. Hayes, the Lord has been good. You at home, me. boy. You at home, man. Uh, in the end of my life, not ashamed. To testify the God we serve, uh, uh, He's been good to you. The shoes, uh, the shoes you have on, uh, the God I serve, uh, uh, He gave welcome, them welcome. to you. Yes, sir, man. The clothes uh, are on your back, uh, the God I serve, uh, uh, He gave them to you. Come on, now, come on. The house uh, you live in. Uh, the God we serve, uh, uh, he gave it to you. Yeah. 
Y'all looking at me strange. The food you eat, the God we serve, or he gave it to you. And every chance I get, I'm going to tell the Lord, I thank you, sir. Shake somebody's hand and tell somebody to say something. Y'all looking at me strange. If you're not ashamed, I'll shake somebody's hand and tell somebody to say something. The reason I'm going to say something is because the God I serve has given me a permission to speak. The reason I'm going to say something is because the God I serve has he purchased me from uh, all my sin. The reason I'm born I say something up uh, is because the God I serve, uh, uh, he has some power. Yeah. And there ain't anybody not ashamed uh, to testify on tonight uh, the God we serve, uh, uh, he has some power. Y'all looking at me straight up. Uh, and there ain't anybody not ashamed uh, to testify on tonight uh, the God we serve. Uh, uh, he has power uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm not gonna let a rock uh, uh, Cry out for me uh, I'm gonna praise him uh, uh, Every chance I get uh, I say I'm gonna praise him uh, uh, Every chance I get uh, And I Anybody in the house uh, uh, Showed up on tonight uh, uh, To praise the Lord if there ain't anybody uh, showed up on the night uh, uh, to say something, uh, somebody say, preacher, uh, uh, what will you say? Uh, I'm going to tell somebody that uh, uh, he was wounded uh, uh, for my transgression. No, I'm going to tell somebody uh, that he was bruised uh, uh, for my iniquity. Uh, I'm going to tell somebody uh, the God I serve, uh, uh, he picked me up. Uh, if there ain't anybody in the house, I'm uh, uh, not ashamed to testify, uh, uh, he picked you up. Uh, and he turned uh, uh, me on. I shake somebody's hand uh, and tell somebody uh, uh, to say something. It is not a shame. Uh, I shake one more person's hand uh, and tell somebody uh, uh, to say something. Uh, because he's been good. Uh, I say he's good. Uh, I say he's good. Uh, say yeah. Say something. If the Lord has been good to you, say something. And tell a damn word. Ah, mama. Say something. And tell a damn word. And I know a man from Galilee. If you ain't seen, he's able. Yes, up, man. Anybody here know he's able to set you free? Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody what the Lord has done for you. And I believe I'm looking at somebody in here tonight who's a living testimony that the Lord has done some good things. Somebody in here tonight can testify that the Lord has done some great things. Somebody here know that he's done some stuff for you that nobody else could do. That's why I'm going to say something. I don't know about you, but that's why I'm going to say something because of what the Lord has done for me. Let the remain of the Lord.
say so. And what I love about that text, Pastor Hayes, it doesn't tell you what to say. Yes, sir. Come on, God. Come on. It doesn't tell you what to say. And that's why I love God. Because you can't say what I feel. Come on, God. What I feel comes from my heart. And it doesn't matter what you say. Just say suck. Tell somebody. Say something. The Lord is still late. The doors of the church are open on tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Standing yes, sir. wheel all over the building. Yes, sir. Look on tell somebody to say something. Say something. Trouble in my way. Come on, let me hear you. I have to cry. Tobias, Tobias. Lord, so much trouble.